Spin out? Uh oh. Oh, that did nothing. No, <laughs> and his speed harshly fell. Hey everybody, and welcome back to another video of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'm on the Violet version, and today in this video, we are going to challenge Team Star's Poison Crew base. It has been a little bit since I played Pokemon, actually. Uh, I don't know why, I just really kind of haven't felt like it. Uh, but I'm back, and uh, we got a Thunderstone. That's a great start. That's a nice room here. Um, yeah, we're going to challenge uh, Team Star's Poison Crew base. Look at that Venonat with its eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's show off my party real quick. So my front man uh, today will be Claude Zire, uh, who is a Poison Ground, I think, or something like that. We got Grumpig, Mudsdale, Sandy Gast, Doug Trio, and Whiskash. I don't know why I have Whiskash, um, but... I, I think he, maybe he was like the last ground I had because poison is weak to ground and psychic, so uh, Grumpig is going to be really good. Uh, Mudsdale and Claude's are, are tanks. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to use these last three, but I have them just in case. Uh, but I think I'll be able to solo the poison crew base by using just my top three people. And uh, what's happening? What's going on? There is a cutscene going on. Is it like Cassiopeia or something? No, it's Clive. What's up, Clive? Long time no see. Like the hairstyle, I forgot all about it. Kyle! Hey there, Clive. Glad to see you've got my name committed to memory. <laughs> yeah, sure. Now, let's pick up our conversation from where we left off before. As I mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to resolve a sticky situation and to find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. Above all, I want to know why the students in Team Star have stopped coming to school. Wait, they go to school? And just like Cassiopeia, I want the team to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfall with you, I've already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star, and I think I'm starting to understand things more clearly. But I don't have enough information just yet. That's why I want to speak with students from Team Star's other squads as well. Okay, if you intend to take on another base, know that you can count on me for backup. Till then, see you around, Kyle. Uh, interesting how you're just standing outside the Poison Crew base that I'm literally just about to go in and uh, bust down. Uh, but we're in a forest right here. Is there any Pokemon that I don't have already? There's some sort of Pokeloot up here. I think these yellow Pokeballs contain TMs. Uh, yeah, Toxic Spikes. Okay, nice. It's actually not a bad TM. What is this? What Pokemon is this? Hold on a second. We're gonna have to catch you. It looks like Strudel's Eyes. Wait, is this Strudel's Evolution? Uh, Grafii? I have no idea, uh, but actually I, I is a type of monkey in real life. I learned that a long time ago. Wow, I actually forgot about that. And it is, it looks kind of like an eye. I, I, I don't know. But this might be Shrudel's evolution since it's got similar eyes. I'm not sure, but Grafii grew drowsy. I'm going to go ahead and, um, oh, I don't know what type it is. I think it's poison since it might be Shrudel. So I'm going to use slam. I'm not going to use ground. You turn. Bug move? It knows bug moves? Okay. <laughs> Critical hit. Claws are you slam. Good, that didn't do a lot of damage. And now you're sleeping, so I think I'm going to slam you once more. That sounded wrong. And then I'm going to throw a Pokeball at you. Grafia is fast asleep. Here we go. Come on, Claws are you slam. Don't kill him. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball. Uh, it's level 29, and it's an evolution, so I'm going to throw a Great Ball at it to start out. I'll throw a couple of Great Balls, and then afterward, I'll, I'll chuck an Ultra Ball at it and see what happens. But I should catch it with a Great Ball. I don't think it's going to be a hard Pokemon. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Grafii was caught. Yes, let's let's see this Pokemon. So is it a Poison Ground or, some, or like Poison Bug or whatever? Poison Normal. Toxic Monkey. Uh, would you like to give it a nickname? No, I want to see it in the Pokédex, because it might be Shrudel's Evolution. I'm not sure. It is Shrudel's Evolution. Okay, I thought so. The reason why I know that is because it comes right after it in the Pokédex, and, you know, that's not always true, uh, but normally with Pokémon that come early on in the Pokédex, it's true. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of Pokémon here. Uh, none that looks interesting to me, uh, even though I should probably catch it. Is that a Fungus? I think that is. I'm not going to catch him right now, though. I'll catch him later. Let's go ahead and go into Team Star's Poison Crew base. Let's see what's what. Grunt, do me a favor and go home already, will ya? No, I want to see the boss of the Navi Squad. Take me to Don Atticus. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leaving till you let me talk to Don Atticus. 
Give me a break, you little doofus. The people over there seem to be arguing about something. What do you want to do? Go say hello. Yes, let's go. Let's go intrude on their conversation. Huh? Hello there. Oh, great. Here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star newbies would be this much of a chore. Yeah, tell me about it. Work sucks. Hold on, Mr. Grunt. I think this boy might be Kyle. Yes, I am. Wait, Kyle? That kid who picked a fight with Team Star? Yep, that's me. <laughs> 100%. Gotta be known for something. I knew it. Ooh boy, this ain't good. Everyone else on the base is still asleep since we were up all last night playing video games. Yes! My kind of base! I don't. I kind of don't want to raid this base anymore. Leave them to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. Alright, yeah? And what's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. He's my dear compadre. And when crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally to those dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid. But thanks for the big assist. Yeah, kids are crazy. <laughs> Alright, kid, you want to fight? Alright, you villain. If you're after Don Atticus, be prepared to face my wrath. Bring it on. Let's go, kid. Yeah! That's what he said. In a high-pitched voice. That was, a, that was a little awkward. Probably shouldn't have done it. It's okay. You were challenged by Pokemon trainer Yusef. Don't know if I completely butchered that word, but it's okay. Uh, he sent out Gulpin. Gulpin's a poison type, obviously. So Clodsire, we're going to use ground moves against Gulpin. Yes, mud shot. Gulpin used stockpile. Nice. Gulpin stockpiled one. Maybe we can kill it. It's defense rose. That's not good. What level is this base, by the way? Is it level 30? If it is, then that's great, because it should be my level. Wow, mud shot did not do a lot. Oh, no. Level 30, yeah, level 30. Okay, um, let's mud shot again. The opposing gulp and you swallow. Okay, that means he healed, right? Yeah. Okay, I might have to switch my Pokemon. Gulp and special defense fell. Stockpile effect wore off. Mud shot. Okay, that did more damage, but it's not doing a lot of damage, so I think I'm going to switch to somebody else. Um... How much damage does this do? Move info. It does 55 damage. Yeah, no wonder. Okay, I'm going to switch to a different Pokemon. I'm going to switch... Maybe I'll switch to Grumpig. How much does Cybeam do? 65? What about Mudsdale? High horsepower? 95! Okay. Bulldoze, 60. 60. And uh, Zen Headbutt, 80. Yeah, no, I'm going to switch to Mudsdale and use high horsepower. Uh, Mudsdale's speed should be high as well because he is a horse. And his, he's kind of a tank as well. So I think Mudsdale is going to be... I think I'm going to switch Clodsire for Mudsdale and uh, put him in my top because I really like Mudsdale. He's he's kind of a cool Pokemon. Gulpin, you stockpile yet again. Gulpin stockpiled one. And his defense rose, his special defense rose as well. Wow, <laughs> Mudsdale is so big, so big. High horsepower. Let's do this. And there we go. Yeah, should have used high horsepower in the first place. Okay, yeah, I'm going to switch Clodsire and, high, and uh, Mudsdale. Before we start the actual battle, I'm also going to heal up. Would you like to uh, switch a Pokemon, Shrudel? No, I'm going to keep Mudsdale. Maybe I'll use Heavy Slam, because Shrudel is really tiny. Look at that. Look at the size difference. Oh my god. <laughs> Shrudel used Slash. It did a little bit, I guess. And Stamina, my ability, my defense rose, which is great. And I one-shot Shrudel. Nice. All right. Shrudel fainted. Let's go. Yeah, I'm going to switch Mudsdale. To Clodsire, you said, or Clodsire to Mudsdale. I don't know. I talk big, but I'm no warrior, and I want a thousand and six hundred and twelve Poke Dollars in prize money. Nice. All right, you gonna let me in now, kid? Don Atticus, I'm sorry I failed you. What's up, Clive? A little late to the party, huh? <laughs> Kyle, are you all right? I was standing watch when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I got worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. Uh, nope, I'm fine. Ah, no fair. You had backup this whole time. Is this boy one of the Academy students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right. I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I guess that means dad. I have to see him no matter what. Or Godfather? Maybe Godfather. Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. Kyle, I'd like to I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and get started on the base. Might I borrow you for a chat? My uh my man? Don't worry, I won't bite. I don't know. Stranger in dress socks talking to a kid. That's uh, a little worrying. Nice work dealing with the guard. Thanks, Cassiopeia. 
Within that base lies Team Star's poison crew, the Navi Squad. Navy, Navi Squad? Their boss, Atticus, designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. The guy's also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So, since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many as the squad Pokemon and as, as you can until Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Navi Squad off the map. Sweet. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Okay, before we go in, I am going to switch Mudsdale and Clodsire because Mudsdale seems to be uh, more of a heavy hitter. And uh, should I heal them? I think they're actually fine for now. Uh, and I can heal inside. So are you ready to challenge Team Star using the first three Pokemon in your party? Yes. Here we go. Ding. Wrestling Bell. Let's go. There's a Team Star symbol right there. It'd be neat if they had a, a specific one for each type of uh, Pokemon type. B. Grr. Seems the folks behind Operation Star Fool are finally making a move against our base. You know what that means, gang. Time for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. And hey, little intruder, just so you know, if you've got the skills to defeat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss might deem you worthy to meet in person. Heh, <laughs> break a leg. Okay, I don't want to break my leg, but thanks anyway. Defeat 30 of Team Star's Pokemon. 3, 2, 1, let's do this. Mudsdale, let's go fight some Grimers. And is that a Viper? Come on, uh, how do I do it again? Right, I just press R. Let's just send out all of our Pokemon. Mudsdale is going to be a big heavy hitter. Wow, they seem to have a lot of health. Wow, they're not even taking any hits. This is going to be easy. I picked the right Pokemon for this. Let's defeat these, uh, what, what were they, Eye Eyes or whatever? I forget their name. Uh, let's see, Mudsdale took a little damage. Yeah, let's attack these Pokemon right here. I'm sending them. Uh, recall Pokemon. Let me send them. I don't know why it's not working. <laughs> Claude's already defeated a Grafii. Grafii. Okay, that's what they're called. I knew there was something like that. Let's uh, call our Pokemon in here. Grumpig might actually be able to solo all this by himself. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I don't know. It seems to be a little delayed. I don't know. But these Pokemon are actually tanks. Like, oh my god. They're not even taking any hits. So either these Pokemon are tanks or the other ones are weak. I'm trying to send out all of my Pokemon all at once. It doesn't really seem to be working. I have no idea why. Let's uh, put them at these Shrudels, or not Shrudels, um, Amoongus and Funguses and whatnot. There's Venomoths over here, Venonats. Yes, defeat the Mushrooms. There we go. All right, we need 10 more Pokemon now. There's Venonats and Venomoth over here. Grumpig, go, oh, just solo him. Oh, Mudsdale is actually pretty low. I need to heal them. I need to heal Mudsdale. I wonder if that uh, if it's the same during battle. Let me find a place to heal real quick. There's a vending machine over here. That's a little far though. That's okay. I actually might be able to defeat everybody without healing, but I don't. I don't want to risk them not being able to heal uh, during our fight. So I'm, I'm gonna heal them right now, just in case. And we only have two Pokemon left, and we have plenty of time, so it's not a problem. You use Team Star's vending machine to refresh your party. It's nice that Team Star lets us use their vending machines. I mean, for they're not such bad guys. We'll just defeat these two Ghastlies right here. Ghastly's a ghost, so why are they in poison type? I guess they do have poison moves. I, maybe. I'm not sure if they do. I mean, they seem to like the type of Pokemon to have a poison move. But what poison move would they have? I, I don't remember. I think maybe at some point they learn like one or two poison moves. I'm not sure. He's way above our level. We've got to get the boss. Yes, get the boss. What was his name? Atticus? Don Atticus? Here we go. Yes! Let's do this. Rev of Room. Been a long time since I've seen one of you. And there's Team Star's flag. What's up? Man, you look like a ninja. Boss of Team Star's poison crew, Atticus. What's up? How you doing? You miss me? Haven't gone after one of your bases in a long time. A couple weeks, actually. <laughs> Let's get this over with. It's just a long loading screen. A black loading screen. Um, maybe Atticus broke the game? I don't know. Maybe I haven't been on so long that the game just decided to not work. Um, uh, there we go. <laughs> pray, forgive my, oh, wait, wait, pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. Great, he's British. You're that scoundrel, Kyle, I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs on Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. I, a plunge into grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. On guard! 
<laughs> okay, let's do this on guard. Atticus, fight me. I challenge you. I hope Mudsdale is not weak. Oh, wait, no, we already healed him. It's fine. We healed Mudsdale. I wonder if it does count, like, it's, if it's health before Atticus counts uh, or not. You were challenged by Atticus of Team Star. He looks a little scared. I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, I'm pretty intimidating. There's a Stunky? No, no, that's Skuntank. Skuntank, right? I think it's Skuntank is what his name is. Not but punishment awaits thee, wretch. A plague on your house. Okay, I have no idea what you just said. Uh, but I don't like the way you said it. So I'm going to go ahead and terrestrialize and use high horsepower because this is going to do a ton of damage. Uh, wait, it might have actually been a mistake to terrestrialize. But I mean, Mudsdale is uh, a tank. And I like Mudsdale. He's probably like one of my favorite ground type Pokemon ever. Here we go. We got the earth. We got the world on our head. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> Here we go. The poison skun tank used toxic, and I think that that poisons me. Yeah, it just poisoned me. That's fine. I have antidotes and I have cures. Badly poisoned. Does that mean I take more damage? I don't know. High horsepower, and we one shot. Let's go. Skun tank fainted. All right, let's rev a room. Let's fight rev a room. Here we go. How much damage am I going to take from poison? Only six. Okay, that's not that bad. If I need to, then I can just use an antidote. Atticus sent out Rev of Room. Here we go. Wait. Oh, he's got four Pokemon. Oh, I didn't even notice. I was like, wait, what? Rev of Room used Iron Head? Whoa, critical hit. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to heal myself. My defense rose, which is good. So let's maybe one hit this Rev of Room. Certain moves can poison with a mere graze. Tremble, scoundrel, for the for thy Pokemon's sake. Mudsdale, use high horsepower. One hit, one hit him, please. Okay, good, good. I need to heal myself. I need... Do I have any max potions or something like that? Can I heal poison and my HP? Because I want to do that. Mudsdale was hurt by its poisoning. Because I would like to keep my terrestrialization. Uh, Muck. You know, let's keep current Pokemon. Muck will be easy to defeat. I don't know, but Muck's, al Muck's also kind of a tank as well. I don't know. Let's look in our bag. And uh, let's see. Max potion. A spray type medicine for treating wounds. It can be used to fully restore the max HP. Oh, but not the conditions. Uh, max HP... And status condition, yeah, we need full restore. Let's use that on Mudsdale. Use the full restore. Let's cure our poison and our health. Muck, if you poison us, I'm going to be so mad. Mudsdale had his HP restored. There we go. Sludge wave, that does a lot of damage. No, oh, but good thing it's not very effective. I forgot that I was ground type for a moment. <laughs> the whole point, I'm using Mudsdale. Here we go. Muck used Sludge Wave again. So it doesn't really do that much damage. But it does have a chance of poisoning. Uh, which is actually worrying. But the poison does not do a lot of damage. It only does 6 damage. It does a certain amount of health. Like a fraction of it. Each each turn. I think like maybe a 16th or something. Or a 10th. I don't know. Uh, it's something like that. Atticus sent out Rev of Room. Yes, the final boss. The big Rev of Room. You think to give me a taste of my own, mine own poison? Fee. I will fight on till the something. I didn't read all of it. There we go. All right, Navi Starmobile. He's probably going to do a lot of damage to me, but we're going to need to use high horsepower. Maybe he won't kill us. Spin out? Uh-oh. Oh, that did nothing. No. <laughs> and his speed harshly fell. Okay, my defense rose. Wow, okay. Mudsdale was definitely the better choice here. Mudsdale used high horsepower and half his health. Let's go. Mudsdale, this is why you are one of my favorite ground-type Pokemon. Poison spikes were scattered all over my team. That means if I switch, uh, then my Pokemon will be poisoned uh, when they land on the ground. Critical hit when he used spin out, but his speed fell, and my defense rose, and I'll be able to just kill him this round. And if not, then... Uh, I don't know. I could just use another Pokemon. That's why I brought six. I told you I'm probably not going to need it. Super effective. I did not exactly kill him. Toxic, I guess I should say fainted since this is a game for, for kids. Um, should I use high horsepower or, or, or should I not? Um, risk it, risk it or not. Is there a move that makes me go first? Uh, I don't think so. No, there's not. Okay, I'll just use another high horsepower. Rever room, you spin out. Don't kill me, please. Wow, two damage. That did nothing. <laughs> okay. Mudsdale's stamina, Mudsdale's defense rose, and Rev of Room, you are now fainted. You gotta go into the auto shop now, the Pokey Shop. It's super effective. Rev of Room fainted. All right, Atticus. Turns out you're not as tough as you as people say you are. 
Yay, we did it! Atticus looks like he's from Splatoon. Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> he looks like an inkling. Not gonna lie. But here we go. Let's learn about Atticus's backstory now and how he got brought into Team Star. Forgive me, my friends. Here we go. Cue the background, or not the back. Cue the backstory music. About a year and a half ago. Here we go. Nice hair. Forgive me. It took a goodly time to pro procure the required materials. Whoa, sick! These boots are insane. I guess he made the clothes. Ah, yes. The move flame charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagine it would be. Thank you so much. I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great infernal airy. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. Seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you because you geek out over old fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. Ooh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. Alright, gang. Let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into our battle training so we're all prepped for Operation Star. We ought to be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself, heart, and soul to honing my battle skills. Alright, so I guess Atticus created the outfits for them. He's actually pretty good at creating the outfits. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so, this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Thank you, Atticus. Maybe you can make some clothes for me. Team Star's Poison Crew defeated! Let's go. That's another one. That's another win for Starfall Street and Operation Star. Take this contraption too. It contains a technique that allows one to cover their foes in gunk. What is it? You obtain TM-102 Gunk Shot. Let's go. What does Gunk Shot do? The user shoots filthy garbage at the target to attack. This may also poison the target. Great. Great. It seems like all poison moves pretty much have a chance to poison. I know that's not true, but pretty much, yeah. Kyle is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitter bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Sup, Clive and kid? Don Atticus. M my compadre? It seems this little fellow has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? Um, when the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were all able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We have no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh. By their own word, they are a recluse. As with the rest of us, twould seem bullying was to blame. That's awful. Though their name and face be none known to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our visuals from the bases awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school. But, but still, don't you ever think Team Star is all you have, Donatic Donaticus? You've got a life, compadre, in me, and don't you forget it. Lifelong compadre in me. Okay, my compadre. I owe you a great debt. I wonder what happened to the boss on that fateful day. It seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the Academy. But more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. They have friendships they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how oblivious I've been. He just kind of admitted he's he's Director Clavel. Ha! I believe Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. Me thinks I may have been mistaken. Okay. That's good. We're, we're turning hearts around. We're getting the bad guys to become good. That's great. And you know why they were bad guys? Because of school. School sucks, kid. If people say stay in school, don't stay in school. Don't trust the system. <laughs> Uh, what am I even saying? Rotototo, we're getting a phone call probably from Cassapia. 
Kyle, it's me. Atticus, the star badge is now yours then. Yes, it is. You're correct. I need to change my clothes. I see. Now that its boss has been taken down, the Navi Spot's days are numbered. Uh, yes they are, I guess. Now Atticus, too. I wonder if Cassiopeia is the boss. Sorry, I've got a lot on my mind right now. So, Operation Starfall, you've taken down all but two bases, so, so it's fair to say it's going well. This seems like a good time to let you know what we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star, the one they call the Big Boss. Who is this Big Boss? Yeah, who is he? Who knows? They control the five squad bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. If we defeat this person and get them to clear the team disbanded, that'll be it for Team Star. Since the Big Boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the Big Boss will finally have to take the stage. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some League points over to your phone as promised. Thanks. And we're probably going to get a reward from Penny, I think her name was. You earned 7,000 League points. Nice. You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. Have your Pokemon learn strong moves so that they can continue to be of use to the operation. My supply unit rep should be with you soon. Yes, let's uh, let's get Penny over here. Uh, what does she usually give us? Hey there, Kyle. That uh, sounded like a pretty serious phone call. I guess it did. What do you give us? Oh, something right on? I guess. Oh, ha, I wasn't talking to you. Oh. <laughs> I guess you smell good, Penny. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Bad Maridon. Maridon is like a puppy. Pretty much. He's a good boy. <laughs> Maridon's, Maridon is a doofus. Seems like it. Oh, and he's tired himself out. So, that mastermind you were talking about, Cassiopeia has mentioned them to me too. Team Star's founder, the person who's caused all kinds of misery at the academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. What do you mean? Ah, no, I just... Um, that's right. You need your reward. Here, take it before I forget. You received lots of Pokemon materials. Oh, right, for the TMs. Okay. Alright, well, I'll be off then. Bye, Penny. Maybe in the future you'll tell me about the, what you treasure. Oh, and Kyle? Don't lose to those guys. I won't. Maybe what you treasure is an Eevee. Maybe it's a shiny Eevee. Oh, yeah, I would treasure a shiny Eevee, too. Clouds are defeated Ghastly. I don't know why that came up just now. What is this thing? What is that? Oh, it's an impidim. I think it's an impidim. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I thought maybe it might have been like a shiny for a minute. Like a shiny uh, shrewdle. And I was so excited. <laughs> yeah, there's another one over here. Oh, wow. All right. Well, that's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to uh, see some more Pokemon content, go ahead and leave a like on the video. You can also subscribe to my channel and see some more of my content and uh, some more Nintendo content and whatnot. And uh, more of me. It's absolutely free. And you won't miss a thing. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.